All right, so we got Maniko's Night Market. Let's go back to the video. Lunch trailer. I don't know nothing about this. In an old village. That's lost its luck. Oh, who's that? Oh. What is that? Is that a cat? A mystery unfolds. Okay, so I can see the theme here already. All right, little puzzle game. Okay. So at the night market, okay. A new booth has arrived. Uh, oh, okay. Oh no! Hey, I'm about to make. Listen, I'm about to be stacked up, bro. But I dangerous there into the island. Oh, we got these thieves. Oh, he running fast. And our cats. They're looking for the cats too. Okay. Who was that? Garfield? You know what? I'll be honest. It isn't really my, you know, my normal type of game that I would play. Uh, but you know what? One thing that I can always, you know, just give, uh, you know, little games and stuff like that. When I say little games, I like, I, I mean like, um, what's the term? Uh, like indie games. That's what I say about little games. Like indie games, little games, right? One thing that I always like give credit to, like when it comes to indie games and stuff like that, bro, is that. For some games, and this is not all games, for some games, they they have something that a lot of big games don't have, whether that's a story, whether that's uh, a motive, uh, whether that's, you know, just anything. You know, a lot of these indie games that we look down upon, yeah, I'm, I, let me just not, let's not say we, a lot of these indie games that you guys look down on, um, they, they end up have something that a lot of these big games are missing. Um, and like I said, you know, whether that's story, motive, uh, whether that's just graphics, whether that's whatever, um, these indie games have some really good potential. A game like this seems like a very relaxing game. I didn't expect the whole, um, I thought you were just selling stuff. I wasn't expecting the whole thing where these little agents, <laughs> well, these agents, I guess, and they looked like agents, they was in like suits and stuff like that. I, I didn't expect them to come through and try to, you know, um, I don't know what they're there for. I, I guess they're trying to like steal what you got or something like that. Hey, you must be selling something crazy if you got the agents coming after you. But uh, they locking down the cats and stuff like that. But yeah, you can tell there's like a little bit of, um, I guess, difficulty. Because obviously, you know, you have to run from these agents. You have to free, you know, uh, free the cats and stuff like that. So uh, and obviously, I think cats is like a, a big theme in this game. So, um, I, I mean, you never know, man. This game could be fire. Uh, let's just say if I was in this game, like if I was physically in this game, bro, I'm making bank, bro. Honestly, I'm making bank. Listen, I'll be making so much money, bro. I'll be a new coach, not new coach. I'll be a new celebrity or a new, uh, investor on Shark Tank, bro. Like, honestly, bro, I'll be making so much money off of this. It'd be crazy. Other than that, um, hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction to Maniko's Night Market. Hopefully the game can take off and, um, maybe I'll see it in the future. Other than that, see you guys later and...